Okay, I wanted to do a um, video on how to set up a user login. So let's say you wanted to have users be able to create an account on your site and then turn them into registered users, right? So that they could have a login. And it's a good way to have also to get people's information and whatnot. So you'll see here at my home site um, at uh, dancecourses.com. If you go to the home page, you see that I have a user login area, right, where users can um, uh, can put in their username and their password and log in. They can also create an account here, and they can also retrieve lost passwords and usernames. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. I've got a test site, right, and I want to put this, let's say, let's say I'll put it on the left-hand side down here, let's say right here on this test site, right? Okay, so what I'll do is, first thing i got to log in to the back end of my test site, All right, and what I'm going to need to do is, is I'm going to need to go to the module manager, and I'm going to need to build a module for um, user login. So I'll say new module, and let's see where it's at. Login module, there it is. And if I highlight over this, it says this module displays a username and password login form, blah, blah, blah. So I'll click on that and I'll hit next right and I'll title it user login uh, show title yes enabled yes position I'm gonna put it this is where I choose where do I want it do I want it in the um, right column which position do I want it in so I want it in the left column all right in the left position so I'll put it there and then you could um, you have different parameters here that you can set for it. Uh, Pretext, this is the text that is displayed above the login form. This is the text that is displayed below the login form. Um, you can have a login redirection page, so like once they log in, it takes them to a specific place. When they log out, it takes them to a specific place. You just have to select the item where you want them to go. If you leave it blank, it'll go to the home page. You want a greeting? Yes. Uh, name, username, um, Encrypt login form if you wanted to um, uh, encrypt it, you could do it here, right? Um, and then where do you want it to show up on? Do you want it to show up on all of your menu pages, right, on the left-hand side, or do you want it only on the home page? So I could say, you know, if I only wanted it on the home page, I would say select menu items from list, and then I would click and I would just set home, right? And then it will only appear on the left-hand side when I'm, at, when I'm on the home page, right? but not when I'm at the About Us page. So I can say, oh, I want to do it on About Us and our services. So then I hold down Shift key, highlight all three of them, right? And then hit Save. All right. All right, now it's enabled. It's ready to go. And if I go back to the home page and refresh, let's see what result we get. All right, there it is on the left-hand side. There's User Login username, password, all that stuff. The other thing that you need to do to make sure this works is on your back-end administrative side, go to Site, Global Configuration, and what you want to do is in the Global Configuration, you want to go to System, and it says User Settings, Allow User Registration, right? It's set to Yes, so I've already configured it to say yes I want to allow users to register and when they register I want to make them registered users not authors not editors and not publishers but just registered users that sounds good uh, new user account activation yes front-end user parameters show the parameters fine right and so there's a few settings there that you can set and hit save and it's all ready to go and I should be able to create an account now so now if I hit create an account I could type in my name, let's see, Dan, username, Dan, put in a password, something at something.com, right, for my email address, password, my pass, verify password, my pass, and hit register. And you want to walk through it and make sure that 
returns out, right? And so it says it could not inst instantiate the mail function, maybe because I'm working just locally right now, and um, you know, possibly that's why. But it says the account's been created and an activation link has been set to the email address you entered. Um, now, since I gave a phony address, um, I'm probably not going to get the um, the activation sent to my address to verify my account. So what I'll do now is, just for testing purposes, I'll go to Site, User Manager, and to activate this user, since it's not enabled, right, I can click here and enable the user. So now I am a registered user enabled on my site, so for testing purposes. So I did that by going to Site, User Manager, since I will not have received that email. If I'd given a real email address, I'll get an email asking me to verify to see if I'm an actual person, um, not a robot, and, and then a link to click on to actually activate the account, to enable the account. Anyway, I hope that helped, and that's how you could start having registered users on your site. There's a lot of uses for that, and we'll be talking about that in more videos coming up.